since the beginning of time, the Belgium Jupiler Pro League and the Dutch Eredivisie have been two of the biggest hotbeds of footballing talent in the world. And so their scouts and managers, no matter whether they're starting out, they're playing on a budget, or they're looking to be extra competitive and get some of the biggest and most powerful players in the game, look to these two divisions time and time again. And when their new cards come out for the 23-24 season, Everyone is running to the market for all sorts of different reasons to help build their club up for the 23-24 season. But for me, when these new season cards come out, we can talk about the new 3D design that's going to happen. But I'm always looking for those guys that have never had a card before. It's their very first one. Sometimes I can give you a lovely differential opportunity in the marketplace as well as on the leaderboards. And also it's one of those extra little scouting elements that I think really helps me get some proper enjoyment out of the game. Like I found that guy first before he popped off. In the video today, I've got my top 10 new faces for the 23-24 season from the Belgian Pro League and the Dutch Eredivisie. If you're brand new to Soria and you haven't even opened up your account yet, there's a link in the description of this video that will get you a free limited card once you've bought five from the auctions. The three cards you get, you can keep it, you can sell it, you can do whatever you want with it. And the five you buy from auctions, they can cost absolutely anything. By clicking on that link, you support all the content here at the channel. So I thank you in advance if you do so. If you get stuck or if you need, it, if you need any help or whatever jump into the comment section and i'll come and sort you out it's the best way to sign up it's the way everyone signs up and if you start playing so and you don't get a free limited you are one card behind everyone else at any point in the video if you do laugh you learn you like something or whatever please do subscribe to the channel for more content like this we are pushing for 10,000 subscribers and we're doing pretty well we're getting there but we need more of your support guys so if you're enjoying the content here hit the subscribe button hit the like and jump into the comment sections and let me know what new faces what new cards are you most excited about seeing from the Dutch Dutch Eredivisie in the Jupiler Pro League for the 23-24 season on so rare. And let's get stuck into it. Now, I have ranked these from 10th is not the best guy, and number one is the is the best, okay? So, we'll go through this quick style as best we can. And these guys come in a lot of different profiles and a lot of different price ranges. So, depending on what you're after, I think there's going to be a little bit of something for everyone in this video. And number 10, a name that will be familiar to English football fans coming out of the Manchester United Academy is Zidane Iqbal. He's only got a couple of limiteds available at the moment. He's not played any minutes yet for Utrecht. His first card went for £57, which I think is actually really expensive. If he continues to not play the opening series of matches, his price will get a lot cheaper. And a guy that is very well renowned from the Man United Academy is having a lot of talent. He could be a guy that when he does get his opportunity in that Utrecht team could hit something very spectacular. But there's not any proof in the pudding yet. So it's a very speculative one. He's only had one limited sold already. There's one available on auction. So not a card that seems to be in any sort of high demand at the moment. Coming out of Elfsborg in Sweden, signing for the Belgian champions Antwerp is Jacob Onderika. Now, the 20-year-old Swedish midfielder has began life at Antwerp pretty solid already, helping them through qualifiers against Athens as well as playing pretty well in the league with a 75-point game when he's picked up an assist and also got 14 points on his all-around game. A very, very formidable performance there for Jacob. Under-23 players are always valuable to be picking up on so rare, particularly when they're under the radar. At the moment, he's got some auctions on the go. Depending on when you're seeing this video, they might have finished by now, but this is a guy that before he hits consistent big scores, an under-23 midfielder playing at the Belgian champions with midweek utility as well, playing in European competition. He could be on for a really big season and that could be a name we hear a lot more of. One of the things that the Belgium Jupiler Pro League and the Dutch Eredivisie are fantastic at is loaning in talent from very high-end, you know, um, very well-run elite academies and bringing them in and giving them first-team football. And Standard Liège have brought in Isaac Price from Everton and the 19-year-old Northern Irishman has picked up the number eight jersey. I think this may be a permanent transfer. You'll need to check me on that. But already, he's broken past 60 twice in the league. A 51 game there as well without any decisive action. A clearance off the line. Two clearances off the line. This guy seems to be a defending monster. This guy loves to tackle. He loves to block. He's actually pretty decent in possession as well. He loves to get intercepting. This guy looks like a really handy midfielder. And those kind of actions, it doesn't matter 
if the team's good or bad. Being a good defender, you might actually want him to be on a team that's struggling. And Standard Liège have not been very comfortable recently. His first card sold for £18, which I think compared to Iqbal is an absolute bargain. He's only got an hour limited available on the market at the moment, so maybe want to keep your eye on. Now, when you think Dutch Eredivisie, one of the first teams that's going to come to your mind, of course, is Ajax. And when you look at the Ajax team, they've got a few new faces coming out this season. And one of the ones that's caught a lot of headlines early season because of how much uh, belief the Ajax institution has in him is Benjamin Tahirovic. Now, the 20-year-old Bosnian who has came in from Roma has already started life at Ajax pretty well. You know, Ajax have been in a real transition period recently and already his debut match, he's dropped to 72 against Heracles. And, you know, it's been a bit of a downward step each game since, but he's playing, he's starting, and at 20 years of age, you've got to think really the only way is up in terms of his personal development in the club and the squad. Ajax, of course, have got midweek utility. He's an international player as well, so he plays for Bosnia. Now, Benjamin Tahirovic, in my mind, is a midfielder. I had to go and double-check it. He's been playing midfield for Ajax, but he is actually a forward card somehow. So this might be something to think about. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing for him, necessarily. I would think it's a bad thing. But that's interesting. That's one to watch out for. I think you kind of need this guy to be a goal scorer if he's going to be a forward card. And as far as I know, he's been playing defensive midfield or central midfield. Yeah, he's got an assist here. So if he can keep that up, then cool, no problem. But that's an interesting detail. And again, if you're looking for a forward card, that may be a differential. That may be a lovely little option. None of his cards being sold yet. It's hard to judge what his price is going to be yet. I dare say he's going to be more than Iqbal. And number six, we have Tio Leone. Now, this is a name I'm not familiar with. And at 23... I would have thought I might have been, but, you know, it's not a guy I've ever came across. He's got an L5 average of 65, and look at the way this guy has started the season. He has dropped a perfect 100-point score with two, de two, two decisives, two assists in the game, and a 2-1 win over Westerlo. Very good defensive stats, very good passing stats, a really important player in this iteration of the Anderlecht team, it would seem, following it up with a goal in the next game and an 82-point score. That is better in some ways because... Like, if you get two assists, it's like two kind of overpowered actions, like balls into the box and that kind of thing. So he's still got very similar all around there, even with only having one less decisive. Sometimes people, when they get double decisive, it makes a really big difference to their all around score. And with him, it seems to not make as much. He, again, at point of recording, hasn't had any cards sold yet, but he does have a rare and a few limiteds going. He is still under 23 eligible for this season, so another wonder kid eligible kind of guy there. And yeah, he's definitely one to watch out for. Anderlecht didn't do so well last year and I don't think lots of their managers will be rushing to them necessarily but if this guy can keep up his action he'll be worth he'll be worth having now to begin the top five we actually have a full spine a full stack almost coming out of the one team in the Belgium Jupiler Pro League manager Ronnie Dyla is taking over Club Bruges and he's trying to get them back on their feet fighting at the top end of the table after obviously Antwerp winning the league last year and one of the main guys that might be doing that for Bruges this year is the striker Thiago the 22 year old Brazilian comes in from Ludogorets in Bulgaria and already in European qualification and in Belgium Jupiler Pro League action. He has been scoring goals. He's been getting involved in decisives all over the place. And he has really taken to it like a duck to water. This gives me big kind of Ferran Jukla vibes. And I don't think Jukla is obviously doing very well in the team at the moment. And it feels like he's kind of taking his spot. So if he's going to be that guy for Bruges, his starts to goals in Brazil was good. His starts to goals in Bulgaria was good. And his starts to goals in Belgium already has taken a great start this season. He's only got one limited available at the moment. So that'll be a really interesting one to see how that goes. And like we mentioned before, the number ones normally go for way more than what they settle at. But an under-23 forward at Bruges this year is not going to be cheap at all. And he's definitely a name that will start the top five off and is going to probably have one of the biggest seasons of these new faces that we're looking at. In number four, and I only put this guy into number four quite simply because I think he's maybe got the potential to break into 80 a little bit more than Thiago there. With a very credible record at Bodo Glimt, coming in also to Club Bruges is Hugo Viltessen. Now, again, 23 years of age, under 23 eligible for the season. We're stockpiling all sorts of wonder kids here. And at Bodo Glimt, he scored very well. And in Belgium, he's scored pretty well as well. And I think once he fully adapts into that league, we can see already with the AA game he's bringing to town, once he kind of clicks in, feels a bit more comfortable and becomes a real part of the team, I think this guy could be hitting 80s and 90s more often than not as well. At the moment, he's only got a limited up for sale. 
on the market. So it'll be really interesting to see how many more of him came out over the coming days. Because along with Jorna Spielers, if that's how you say it, this is an under-23 spine out of Club Bruges with guys that have got no cards before this season here. And he will complete the Bruges spine, finishes in number three. And the reason Spielers here is in number three is because he's 18 years of age and he is dropping these defensive scores already. He's been keeping out Dedrick Boyata. He's been keeping out Dennis Adoy. He's been keeping people out. I know that much because I've got Boyata. Stella has moved on and, you know, he's just really taken into this team really anyway. Really comfortable, really set up and defenders at 18 years of age that can do this are always high level operators that are fantastic to take on any so rare road to glory, building your club out, your base defender to get you going with your first competitive team or whatever. Because, yeah, I just think he's in a great position at 18 years of age. He just does so much. Under 23 will make him a bit, you know, will add a premium onto him, of course. It's not a rookie card, which is a bit unfortunate. He did play last year, didn't have a card. And we can see the bids are coming in already. I think he will be one of the more expensive ones we have from this list. And number two, maybe the top contender to be one of the most expensive we have here is Joral Hato. Now, this guy has got a lot of followers compared to some of the other ones we've seen already on so rare. And playing for Ajax at 17 years of age in an attacking fullback role, dropping these kind of scores. I know some of these guys are versatile, so don't quote me on his position in case he has played some midfield or something, because I know these Dutch guys can play everywhere. But he's a defender. He's dropping scores like this. And at 17 years of age, eight starts, 13 assists, uh, 13 appearances all in. That This just looks like a guy that is going to be in a lot of powerhouse teams. Actually, no cards for sale right now. So that'll be a really interesting one to see when he comes out, how much he goes for. Because Ajax are one of the most powerful teams in the game. Similar to Bruges when they're really on form. But because they dominate so much domestically, they get so many clean sheets. Their players, their defenders can operate so high on the pitch. They can get so many fantastic statistics. At 17 years of age, you've got to think this guy is going to be around at Ajax for a couple of seasons at the very least. And that is a fantastic prospect no matter where you are in your so rare journey, which is what makes him number two. We have another player coming out of the Norwegian Ella Teresen. I can't see it, coming into the Belgium Jupiler Pro League and it is coming into Royal Union St. Gilles who has been the, you know, one of the main scouting hubs of European football, obviously the, the Brighton connection and that is Matthias Rasmussen. Now the 25 year old, the first one in the video, the only one in the video perhaps that is not under 23 has come straight into the club. He's taken the number four jersey and he started life already really solid playing a lot of the games for USG and the quality of USG's recruitment and the, their style of play and their uh, consistency in producing high quality teams and outfits gives me confidence that once this guy gets a few more appearances under his belt, like he's got a lot of minutes in Denmark and in um, Norway already with very good goals to appearances as well as some good assists there as well. And I think once Rasmussen in his uh, USG career, I think once you see him get to about 20 starts, 20 appearances, You'll probably find these goal assist ratios, the decisive ratios, they'll maybe be down a little bit on those other leagues because the Belgian league is definitely a higher level than both of them, but I don't think they're going to be that far removed. And USG, like I say, are a very, very powerful team to, to look at because they get so many players that are undervalued in real life world football. And they've done very good over the last two or three years of getting a very good tune out of them. That's my top 10. Who have I missed out? Who are you shouting right now? Quinny, I can't believe you never put this guy in. All the best ones, if there is good ones, we'll, maybe, we'll make another video. Why not? On screen there now is some other stuff that I've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. I hope you had a good time on this one, guys. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.